Hello everyone, this is Rakesh here and once again welcome to the my PLSQL tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss the trigger in the PLSQL programming and in that we are going to discuss the introduction part just like for example, what exactly the trigger, why exactly we require the trigger and what are the types of trigger available in the PLSQL programming. So that is a thing which we are going to discuss in this session and in upcoming sessions we are going to cover all the type of trigger one by one with the help of practical example. So that is a thing which we are going to discuss in this session and in this series. So let's begin. So guys, let's start with our today's session and let's understand what exactly the trigger. So guys, what exactly the trigger? So guys, trigger is nothing but it is a store program which will execute automatically at certain event or activity and activity or event can be anything just like for example your insert statement or maybe delete statement or maybe update statement log on log off uh, create table alter table so these are called the activity or event in a uh, database okay so whenever this activity uh, happen in the my program or, so, or sorry in the my database then I wanted to execute some uh, piece of program or some uh, program I wanted to execute automatically. Then what you need to do? You need to go with the triggers. Okay. So trigger is nothing but it is a store program which will execute automatically at certain event. So that is nothing but your uh, trigger. Okay guys. Now let's understand this with the help of one example. For that, I need to take a one requirement. So what exactly the my requirement is? So my requirement is, <coughs> let's say for example, uh, I wanted to get the uh, one record in my this table, uh, schema audit. Okay, a schema audit table, I wanted to get record whenever DML operation happen on my employee table. Okay, so that is my requirement. So how you can achieve? You can achieve with the help of trigger. So uh, let me show you over here one demo. So <coughs> initially, let's say for example, uh, this table has nothing, N no row is there. Okay, now whenever this statement, okay, happen, then I wanted to have this record automatically. Then how you can achieve? You can achieve with the help of trigger okay guys so what exactly happened over here so as soon as over here this statement happened or triggered in my database then there is one program is stored in the database which I have written that is called as a trigger which automatically execute as soon as this update statement triggered so that is nothing but your trigger okay guys I hope you have understood now what exactly the trigger so trigger is nothing but Whenever any activity happens, just like for example, DDL activity or DML activity or your uh, database uh, events, maybe log on, log off, then I wanted to do something or I wanted to execute some program. So what do you need to do? You need to write the trigger. So that is nothing but your trigger. Okay, guys. Now, I hope you have definitely understand what exactly the trigger. Now, why exactly we require the trigger? Because I wanted to uh, <coughs> do some automation or I wanted to capture uh, these events or maybe I have some business functionality. Uh, if something happened, then do something. Then in that case, we require the trigger. Correct? So that is the reason we require the trigger. Moving on to the next thing, which is nothing but your, what are the types of trigger available in the PLSQL programming? Okay, but before that, let me write over here the definition of the trigger. So as you can see on the your screen, this is the definition of the trigger. Okay, and I'm not going to explain this uh, definition again and again because you will be get bored. Okay, you have already understood what exactly the trigger mean. Okay, now let me move on to the next thing, which is nothing but your types of trigger available in the PLSQL programming. So the very first type, which is nothing but your DML trigger. In the uh, inside the DML trigger, we have two type of trigger, which is nothing but your normal DML trigger and the instead of DML trigger. So what exactly the DML trigger? So DML trigger is nothing but it is a store program which will execute automatically at the DML operation. Means uh, let's say for example, I have such a kind of requirement saying that boss, whenever 
in my uh, database uh, on particular table any DML statement happened then I wanted to do uh, some uh, or I can say that I wanted to execute uh, some store program then what I need to do I need to go with the DML trigger okay now <coughs> over here uh, what exactly the normal trigger and what exactly the instead of uh, trigger so normal trigger is applicable for the table so when I say that if DML operation is happening on my table and I wanted to execute automatically my store program then I have to write the normal trigger and if I will say same thing I wanted to do on the uh, view then I have to go with the instead of trigger. So uh, normal DML trigger is applicable for the table and instead of uh, trigger is applicable for the view okay so that is nothing but your dml trigger and more detail we will understand in the upcoming videos with the practical example okay guys so let me move on to the next thing which is nothing but your ddl trigger so ddl trigger is also same like the dml trigger so over here the only operation will change so in the my dml trigger uh, we will talk about the insert delete and update over here we will talk about the <coughs> ddl statement okay so what all the ddl statement can be possible um, your create table truncate table or ultra table and so so many <coughs> things are comes under the ddl correct so if this kind of operation happen and i wanted to execute uh, some store program then i have to go with the ddl trigger so in a typical definition what i can say that uh, DDL trigger is nothing but it is a store program which will automatically execute at DDL operation and DDL operation can be your create table, alter table or truncate table ok. So this is nothing but your DDL trigger and same we will understand in the upcoming videos in detail with the help of practical example ok. So <laughs> moving on to the next one which is nothing but your database operation trigger. So it is the same like the, our previous video uh, previous uh, triggers. Uh, so this uh, trigger is applicable for the uh, database events. So database events can be possible like uh, logging, log off or maybe database shutdown and I wanted to execute store program automatically then I have to go with the uh, database trigger. Correct. So that is nothing but your database trigger. So let me take over here one example <coughs> saying that uh, boss uh, whenever someone logs in my database then I wanted to execute my store program then I have to go with the uh, uh, this database operation trigger ok guys or maybe uh, log on log off database shutdown all this operation happen then I wanted to do something then you have to go with the uh, <coughs> database operation trigger. Now typical definition what I can say that uh, database operation trigger is nothing but it is a store program which will automatically execute when uh, my database events happen ok and events can be your login, log off and database shutdown. So that is nothing but your database operation trigger. So this is all about the uh, types of uh, trigger available in the PLSQL programming. So let me summarize over here what exactly the trigger. Trigger is nothing but it is a store program which will execute automatically at certain event and event can be your D DML, DDL or database operation. Okay, and what are the types of uh, <coughs> trigger available in the PLSQL programming? So these are the types of PLSQL uh, trigger available in the PLSQL programming. So the very first one which is nothing but your DML trigger uh, under the email we have the normal uh, DML trigger and instead of trigger. This is applicable or I can say that normal uh, normal DML trigger is applicable for the uh, table and instead of uh, trigger is applicable for the view. And D, uh, moving on to the next type of uh, trigger which is nothing but your DDL trigger and the next one which is nothing but your database operation trigger ok. So guys that is all for the day and if you have enjoyed this video and if you have learned anything from this video then please please hit the like button and share it 
and if you wanted to get the regular notification on my youtube channel then please don't forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon button thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care